Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and we are doing another garden vlog today. I'm super excited because it is time to clean up the garden and prepare for some fall crops. Now, for some reason, I did not really know about fall crops. I didn't really know that that was a thing, but it is. And I've got just a few in my little pack. I would like to do more, um, but I don't know. This is just what I have for now. I know that the fall season is good for like broccoli, lettuce -y type of things. I'm going to be doing some tunnels out here. So like doing some like DIY grow tunnels. Probably, well, I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna use to do that. But basically you can extend your fall crop season like even after the frost if you have something to cover your crops with this is what I've heard obviously this is my very first year gardening so if you know better than me which most of you do please you know leave your insight in the comments below because I would love to hear from you um, on all of this because I honestly feel like it's a whole new learning experience to go into the fall now and still be able to grow things because honestly I thought that the season was over <laughs> I'm going to be mostly cleaning up this box that you can see right here, which was like absolutely mangled by aphids. It's really funny because none of my other plants were really bothered by aphids or pests. They were definitely touched by powdery mildew, big time. And I just kind of left it and didn't touch it, which was a mistake and that's one of my lessons too. I'm going to see if there's anything in there that I could salvage maybe for the cold season and then start to brainstorm how I'm going to, and then start to brainstorm how I'm going to overwinter, like overfall this area. So, okay, hold on a second, I have a call. The last thing that I wanted to say before I got into biz is I wanna show you the seeds that I got for fall so far. I have kale, carrots, and then I'm gonna try and plant these zinnias. I don't know if they'll come to fruition. Uh, there is a fungus knot smashed against this right here. Fungus knots have quite literally infiltrated every single part of my life, including my seed packets. Like, how do they do it? I don't understand, uh, whatever, anyway. I don't know if the growth season will be long enough, but my mom actually planted some and they flowered after two weeks from being planted from seed. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try this, whatever. Anyway, that's what I have so far. Like I said, I still have like broccoli and cauliflower and some more lettuce like in my seed stash that I got earlier. So I'm gonna plant those too, but I just need to like figure out the hoop stuff before I really get into all of that. And the last thing I'm gonna say, I swear, is if you watched Bridgerton on Netflix, it's based off of the book Bridgerton by Julie something. Anyway, Netflix made a TV show rendering of it and then these two women on TikTok that I found made a album as if it was a musical and I've been following along on this journey basically since I finished watching Bridgerton like over a year ago, maybe a year ago, close to a year ago. <laughs> and they finally released the album and their lives have just completely changed like because of this and it's so exciting. I'm so excited for them. The songs are so good and if you love musicals, like you will just love it. And it's two independent artists who because of this project were recently signed onto a label. I think like a pretty big label. So anyway, their lives are just taking off and I'm so excited for them. And this album is so good. So like, please go listen to it. If you watched Bridgerton, you will love it. <laughs> and I really wish that Bridgerton was a musical now because imagine it, like it would just be perfect as a musical. But anyway, okay, let's go. Enough talking, Becca. We're gonna be doing that later. Let's just get to work here.
aside planting my fall crops. I think that I don't want to do more than what I just planted. So we'll see if any of that comes up. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll come up. <laughs> um, I can't really be surprised if it does because it worked the last time, so it should work this time. I also topped off the garden beds with some compost. It was just straight up compost. I referred back to my garden soil video to see what I should do to refresh the beds. And that was basically what Shota said is just to add a couple bags of compost to the top and you can till it in or you can just lay it on the top. So I kind of used my cultivator to spread it, but I didn't really mess with it beyond that. So anyway, now I picked this cantaloupe the other day and it's ready to eat and I wanna eat it before it gets too ripe. So I waited until the insides turned like the tan color and I can actually smell the fruit, like the cantaloupe smell. So I wanted to, you know, try it out with you guys for the first time. And I also picked this watermelon and I don't know if it's ready. I was kind of going off of like the fact that it's really big and I wasn't seeing it get like much bigger. And then also this part right here is kind of a creamy white color now. And something that I read online said that once this is like a creamy white color, it's ready to pick. Are you ready for this? Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I grew this. It smells so good. I grew this, me. In my garden outside, did you guys know? <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm literally shook right now, like, oh my God, wait, I just need to try like a small sliver because I want to hold up the watermelon and the cantaloupe together for the thumbnail. That is so good. That is so good, it's so sweet. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> the best news is I have like 10 more growing, which is like the best news. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's do the watermelon. This is the one that I'm a little bit more skeptical about. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yeah, could be. I'll give you some to try too. Oh no, I feel like it might not be ripe enough. Let's see. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. What? I grew this. I grew this and I grew this. I grew melons. I'm a melon girl now. My excitement right now is hard to describe, but I'm going to cut these up and eat them and enjoy the literal fruits of my labor. <laughs> I'm so happy that this worked. Like, I don't know why I'm so shocked that I was able to do this, but this is so good. Like full watermelon I grew and I'm going to eat. Like the full thing, I this. It started as a seed and then I grew it into a plant that grew into a fruit. Mm. Wow. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this week's video. I will be doing next week what I learned gardening this season. I was gonna put it in this video like I mentioned earlier, but it just, it's too much. I feel like it needs its own video, so. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.